Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second part of the DSS course. In this part, I'm going to cover predictive analytics in detail. Personally, this is one of my favorite courses. I hope you will also find it interesting and useful. This course is largely structured around labs with some lectures in between. In the labs, we are going to use Python programming language. The reason why we chose Python is because uh, Python is becoming increasingly relevant these days. While it has very good and high-end functionality, it also is quite easy to learn and program on. Of course, there is a small learning curve required for you to pick up Python and use all the functionality provided by Python. I hope this, this part of the course will help you get through that learning curve and will make you comfortable in using Python. If you do not have any background in Python, I request you to go through some of the prerequisites that have been mentioned in Canvas and in the syllabus that I circulated. So without further ado, let's get started with describing this, uh, the structure of this course and finally getting into the lecture or uh, lecture, the first lecture of the course. So the course is, is structured as follows. In the first lecture, I'm going to talk about predictive analytics. I'm going to define predictive analytics and describe the predictive analytical process. Finally, I'm also going to talk about how Python can be used for predictive analytics. In the first lab, I'm going to introduce uh, uh, Python for programming. Uh, we are going to cover the basic programming concepts, but we will go very quickly. The second lab involves the basic input-output operation using Python. Specifically, we are going to try to read and write CSV or Excel files. The next lecture is going to cover the first part of the predictive analytical process, which is data preparation. The lab that follows, we will do some exercises with regard to collecting data. Specifically, we will try to collect certain amount of data from the web. The next lecture is going to be on modeling and analytics. We are going to place focus towards supervised learning techniques. And in the lab that follows, we will do some exercises with supervised machine learning. The next lecture is going to cover common learning algorithms. Specifically, I'm going to talk about decision trees and association rule mining. Over here, we are not going to use Python, but rather we will try to solve certain exercises on paper. The last class is going to be student presentations. That is, uh, you're going to present in groups an exercise that is given in lecture two. The exercise is quite interesting, and I really look forward to the interesting solutions that you come up to interesting solutions that you will come up in, the, in that exercise. So let's go on to today's lecture's objectives. So basically, uh, in, to, in today's lecture, I plan to cover three important aspects. The first, the first aspect is predictive analytics. I'm going to define predictive analytics and try to investigate some of the new considerations in predictive analytics. These specifically, I'm going to cover the, the uh, emergence of big data in organizations and the integration of social media into, into the day-to-day -day activities of individuals and organizations. In the second part, I'm going to cover pre the predictive analytical process. I'm going to define the predictive analytical process and I will take you through the steps involved and the steps are defining the objective, preparing the data, modeling and analytics, and finally validation and deployment. The final part I will is going to be a bit more technical. We are going to look at how Python can be used for py, uh, predictive analytics. I'm going to start with open source software and describe how open source software benefits Python and other programming languages. Finally, I'm going to briefly describe the important programming concepts that we will cover in the subsequent lab. 
this part, that is the last part of this lecture, is going to be in class, so it's not going to be pre-recorded. And I and I look forward to to taking this part with you in uh, in the Zoom sessions.